guys, Cece here with a new video and this is going to be my powder foundation and setting powder collection. So just a collection of all the powders that I have. This is part three. I believe this is part three of my makeup collection video series. I have my palette collection up and I also have my liquid foundation collection up. So if you have not seen those, I will definitely link those in this video somewhere and also down below. But this one is all about my powders and I'm not going to go in any particular order. Actually, you know what I am. I'm going to separate the loose powders from the actual pressed powders and I'm going to do very very many reviews because I have a lot um I have about 30 powders to show you guys so it is a lot so the reviews are not going to be in depth if you haven't seen my um liquid foundation collection video then the reviews will be like that little mini five second five word reviews so yes we're gonna start with loose powders and the first one I have is this bare minerals mineral veil I have had this for maybe not even a year now and this is the tinted mineral veil I really like this when I am going to do a very very light look um and I just want a dusting and something to set my face with. I really like this mineral veil for that. And I have a few of these because I really do love the Bare Minerals mineral veil. Sticking with Bare Minerals, I have the Bare Minerals Original and the Bare Minerals Matte. This is the foundation. This is like, you know, their basic powder loose foundation. These are just little small sizes that I got in a little try kit. I am not a big a huge fan of all powder foundations but I do enjoy the bare minerals matte I um yeah I like using this and it lasts for so long like I have on a powder foundation today it's not the bare minerals matte but I'll let you guys know which one it is but I feel like powder foundation just lasts you forever so I definitely love that about them and like I said these are sample sizes. The original I don't love as much. I feel like my skin gets oily and I've always felt like that even back in the day because Bare Minerals was like the first foundation that I ever tried. So yeah not a big fan of the original but I do like the matte. Next I have the Palladio or Palladio rice paper and it comes with a little puff. You open it up like that, comes with a little puff. I got this from Ulta for about $5, and this stuff is really good. You can set your makeup with it, or it just mattifies your face. I really like to use it for that because I just, I don't know, I feel like it's a really lightweight powder, doesn't add much coverage, and it's great for mattifying. Next, there's the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder, and this is in Naturally Beige 742A. If you can see that color there, it's not stark white, it's like a beige-ish beige brown color. So it's really nice for my skin tone. Again, doesn't add much coverage. It's just a nice translucent powder that I can use just to dust over my makeup to hold it in place. Then I have my three Ruby Kiss powders, and these are the Set and Forget um, Loose Face Powders. These are the 16 Hour Flawless with Rub Proof Wear. And these are supposed to be dupes for the um, Ben Nye powders. I have found that they work really well. I haven't used them much just because I have Ben Nye powders as well. So I haven't used them as much as I should, but I find that these work actually really well. Um, they're not that great in flash photography. I did an entire comparison video on these and the Ben Nye powders, so I'll link that down below as well if you'd like to see it. But again, it doesn't do well in flash photography, but if you don't plan on taking pictures and you just need something to set your makeup or your under eye concealer with this banana powder, it works perfectly. Next I have the NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It Powder. This is another loose powder that is not a powder foundation. It is just something to set your makeup and it's supposed to mattify your face. This is really great for touch-ups. I actually done, did an entire review on this as well, so I'll link that. And this one's in the color Medium Dark. Lastly, with my loose powders, I have this Tarte foundation. This is in the color Tan Sand. And again, I do have a review on this that I will link. 
So um, this stuff is great. It's a full coverage powder foundation. This is what I am wearing today and I absolutely love it. This stuff keeps my face pretty matte. It's not the mattest foundation, but it keeps my face pretty matte and I definitely love the coverage and love how it looks. I don't have to go all out and put on a liquid foundation every day because I have this and I mwah, love this. Alright, so getting on to the pressed powders. You guys, I have reviews on a lot of this stuff, so I'm going to be saying that throughout the video. So if you really want more information on these products, definitely click those links. But again, review on this. This is the Makeup Forever um, Pro Finish Powder, and this is in the color 170. These powders um, directly correlate with the Makeup Forever HD foundation. So if you have that foundation, your color will be the same in the powder. And that's just how it looks on the inside. And this is a foundation. If you put it on lightly you can use it as a setting powder and it gives really really great coverage and the color is absolutely perfect on me so definitely love this powder a little pricey it's makeup forever but it's worth it Next we have the Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder and this one's in the color medium. They also have a medium dark which is the one I probably should have gotten but I didn't see it when this first came out at Target and that's when I bought this. I did an entire review on this and the liquid foundation as well but um yeah this was okay it didn't keep me very matte but if you're looking for something just to throw on on top of your makeup when you're going for a very light look it complements the Revlon nearly naked really well it actually complements every foundation like really light foundation it complements that so well um yeah so try it we have two of the mineralized skin finishes from MAC. One is in dark and one is in medium deep. For the dark, I use it to contour. If I want a really, really, really light everyday contour, I can use this color to contour my face. And it works out really well. It's the perfect color for an everyday contour or bronze I should say and then the skin finish in medium deep that's a really good one as an all over face powder you get very very little coverage with this but it really does give your face just this nice glow like I really do love this for just like a nice airbrushed finish like this is the premier powder to finish your makeup with not the maddest powder in the world but um I love it for when I just want a nice natural look to my face. This is the Revlon Color Stay Powder. Um, I have it in the color. It doesn't have the color on here. I don't, oh, yeah, it does. Medium. <laughs> I have it in the color medium. I don't use this very often, so I can't tell you really how it works. I think I've only used this like once or twice. I've had it for a while. The compact's broken. I like got this on clearance and that's why I bought it. But I've used it a couple times to set my makeup. I don't think there's anything particularly special about this. Um, it's a little chalky in my opinion but I mean I can't even, I haven't used it in so long I can't even remember really how, if it was good or bad or what. I just, I just know, I remember it was a little chalky. Next we have the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. This is one of my favorites from the drugstore. It replaced the Maybelline Dream Matte dream matte powder and um yeah i really do love this stuff it gives you like you can build it up to a medium coverage but you can also put it on lightly just to set your makeup which is what i mostly do and i love the fact that it mattifies my face it gives me a little bit of coverage and they have a pretty good color selection i mean you can work with the colors that they have i have it in the color 93 honey beige Next is the NYX, what was this, Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. Done a full review on this, which I will link. But this is how it looks. It was the perfect color for me. It definitely reminds me of the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder or the Duo Matte Powder, which those two remind me of each other. But this one definitely reminds me of those. And I got my color in 09 Tan. Works really well. Check out that review. Next is the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder. I got it in the color. This is in the tinted version and it has a little powder puff to go along with it. Um, this powder was okay. I don't use it very much but the powder is okay. That's all I really have to say about it. If you're on a budget, e.l.f. has really great products but 
I have other powders that work just a lot better than this, so I don't use it very often. CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Powder Foundation. This is was a new release earlier this year, and I have a full review on this. This um, is how the product comes. So you just get this little whatever you call this shape of powder and then you get a powder puff there sorry it is dirty because I use it I love this product as a touch-up powder I'll say um, I take this with me on the go and it has the little powder puff with me and if I get shiny I can just go ahead and touch it up it works very well with the liquid foundation I love how CoverGirl's products all work together this is the MAC Blot Powder, and I've had this for so long there are no more words on it. But yes, the MAC Blot Powder with the old disgusting powder puff. But that's how it looks. It's just a blot powder, something good to take with you on the go. This is the first type of blot powder that I bought. This might have been like one of my first MAC products that I bought actually. But I've had this for a while, which is probably pretty gross, but I don't care. I'm still going to use it. doesn't smell funny. And, um... I like it keeps me matte and um, keeps I bring it with me a lot throughout the day so L'Oreal true match mineral this was I think another new release this year and I don't love it I don't hate it um, I don't know I'll use this every so often just to set my makeup when I want a very light coverage I don't think this is you know what, this may be a foundation, I'm not positive, but it says up to 16 hours of fresh true color without oil breakthrough. Um, I do remember that it keeps me matte, but I don't use it very often, so I can't give a thorough review, but I mean, it was okay. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, this is the one with the primer that was supposedly already built in, and I do believe that this is a foundation. Yes, because it has a primer built in. And I have it in the color medium deep. I got this on clearance one day. I can't even remember how this works. I haven't used this in so long. So I can't even give you guys a review on it. But that's how it looks. L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. I have mine in the color Sun Beige W6. This is seems to be a fan favorite, the L'Oreal True Match period. I am not in love with the L'Oreal True Match liquid, nor am I in love with the powder. This is it doesn't say if it's a powder foundation or not so I don't know if it's just supposed to be a setting powder or a powder foundation but I'm not in love with the L'Oreal True Match line I've never tried the concealer but as far as the powder and the liquid foundation I feel like people love it and I just I can't get it to work for my skin Next is the Bare Minerals. This is the Touch Up Veil in Translucent. And this is just like the Mineral Veil, the, the Loose Mineral Veil, except for it is pressed. And this is really good to take on the go. It's really small, so it fits nicely in your purse for travel. Even when you have a small, tiny bag, this fits so nicely in it. So I definitely love this. I have another Bare Minerals product. This is the Illuminating Touch Up Veil. And I use this to sometimes to set. Okay, I'm back. I will sometimes use this to set my under eye concealer. And it looks really nice. It's very illuminating, like it says. So you have to have a light hand with it. I wouldn't set my entire face, but it definitely gives my under eye a nice bright look. And that's how it looks right there. And I also it also came with a little mini travel brush. So last two powders, I promise. The first one is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And this is what that Dream Wonder Powder replaced that I was talking about. This is... I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a powder foundation or not. I know they have the Dream Matte. Um, foundation the liquid so I'm not sure if this one was supposed to be just like a complimentary setting powder or um, if it was supposed to be an actual foundation itself I'm not positive however I do love this powder for mattifying my face I use it a whole lot to set my makeup set my liquid foundation and it works great I also like to use it for touch-ups throughout the day Last but not least is my Holy Grail powder and it's so affordable and so amazing and I really love it and I really encourage all of you to go out and get it. And this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. How can something that costs $3.99 be so amazing? This is in the color number 4, Sandstorm, and this is my second one of these. 
I just absolutely, absolutely love this powder. And as you can see, it's like a nice little translucent powder. So it looks light, but I just put a light dusting on my face. It keeps me matte all day. I have no problems with it. And then if I want it to look a bit brighter, like if I want to set my under eye, I go in a little bit heavier with a smaller brush and just kind of set my under eye and it gives me that brightening effect underneath my eyes. And then I'll go in and use a skin toned color to set the rest of my face. And I I just love to use it both ways. I love this stuff, period. It's amazing. And I have nothing but great things to say about the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. Okay, you guys. So those are all of my powders. Those are my setting powders, my powder foundations, my loose powders, all of that. Those are all of my powders. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more in-depth reviews on any of these products that maybe I don't already have a review on, then definitely leave it down below. Also, if you have a powder that you would like me to try, leave that down below as well. I'm in the market for some new powders. Some of those I believe are going to go. <sighs> I've already done my decluttering, but I think I'm going to go back through my powders and get rid of some. I definitely went back through my liquid foundations and got rid of some of those, but I think I'm going to do the same with my powder foundations. I just have way too many. I think 30 is excessive and it's ridiculous and it's crazy. So I'm definitely going to go back through it. I think I'm going to get rid of a few of them and just filter some out because I want to try some new ones. But um, anyway, don't forget to follow me on social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I also have my email address below. If you have any questions or anything like that that you don't want to leave on any of my social media sites, you can definitely email me. And don't forget to check out my blog. Thank you guys so, so much for supporting my videos. And I love you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.